Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back, guys. I am Rofi Asin, and you guys are watching my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have covered the uh, a basic understanding of this ASP.NET Core MVC uh, project structure, files, and folders and things. In this video, we are going to basically we are going to create a separate project for storing our like uh, domain models. Basically, for storing things like uh, our database tables or you can say entities or you you can simply see here to create models we, we will not be using uh, this models folder for uh, like for storing things within this project basically we'll create separate project for this model and we'll uh, all the models interfaces and we will create a separate project for our repositories so that uh, you can get a f full understanding and real world understanding how uh, these projects uh, build instead of basic like YouTube tutorials create models here so it's better to uh, like separation of concern it's it's better to create separate projects so let's get started uh, first of all I'm going to close this close this close this so 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 basically that's why we've created the name of our solution pounds saving store and within that solution we have this project pound saving store dot web now I'm in this video I'm going to create a project for our models and in the next video we are going to create a project for uh, our like our business layer and we have separate layers like we have separate web layer we have separate business layer and we have separate uh, models layer and later on we'll ha we have separate project for MVC uh, for API and we have another separate project for uh, our angular application if we will be working uh, in angular so in order to create another project what I'll have to do I'll click here on the solution explorer and I have a right click and add new project and uh, uh, we will be looking for class library dot net core and and this is the project class library a project for creating class library that targets dotnet standard or dotnet core framework okay so we will be creating a class library kind of project but this is in visual basic we need to create in c shop so 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 over here class library for creating c sharp class library so basically it is in dotnet framework we should have for both like dotnet core wpf let me change this from here to all project types then we have class library yeah class library for creating class library that targets dotnet standard or dotnet uh, core so we'll select this and click next and over here we will write the name of this project as pounds saving store dot core this will be like core will be the name of this project basically it will contain things like interfaces models and so that's why you can write this as dot models dot core or you can dot domain you can name whatever these are like convention names that are being used by most of the developers like you can use code you can use models whatever you want to you, like you think whatever feels good for you you can use I'm using dot code and I will click next and obviously we're using dot net 5.0 and I will create it perfect so now you can see we have uh, this class library project and inside here we have this class one so I'm going to delete this class because I don't need this class so that's it this is our class uh, class library project so what I'm going to do I'm going to create add a folder here and I will write models and I'm going to create another folder here and I'm going to write interfaces okay so this is the basic purpose of our core project it will contain models it will contain 
interfaces things like we have a pr products model we have supplier model we have customer model all the models will be uh, within this models folder and we have like i customer repository i supplier repository interfaces will be stored here so this is the basic purpose of uh, our core project and i think that's it for this video in the next video i'm basically i'm trying to make short video so that you can easily follow in the next video we will set up our business project and then we will do whatever we have inside our playlist so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video bye